What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before anything, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the incredible support you guys have been giving me the past couple of days. My last video was four days ago. In that video, in the first minute, I said thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. At the time I'm recording this video, I'm at 18,000 subscribers. I gained 10,000 in four days. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys have been incredible. Long story short, past couple of weeks, I, I have been getting stalked. I have been getting harassed. And it it is pretty scary. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be talking about what's been going on in my life the past month or so. Ever since I first started um, venturing along the dark web and whatnot. I posted the story on my Twitter last night and I've been getting a lot of support. A lot of people have been wishing me well and whatnot. But I decided to make a video and go more in depth. Before I get into anything, make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my uploads. And yeah, let's get into it. The first video I ever recorded going on the dark web was this one. What's going on, guys? So, yeah, what's going on, guys? Um, July 15th, 2018. Inside this video, I basically just did my first exploration on the dark web. Nothing crazy. I just went a little into it. A bunch of links. Um... Where you could see like a couple things like counterfeit money, where you could buy drugs and so on and so forth. But yeah, in that video, that's what I did basically. You can see in here there's drugs and you know the whole nine yards. You could buy electronics, fake IDs that scan. I don't know about that, but so yeah, you see all those links right there. That's the first video I've ever done on the dark web. It was okay, you know, the support I got on it was pretty good, but you know, nothing crazy. So after that, that's when I really started to dive into the dark web. I noticed a trend going on about dark web mystery boxes. So, real or fake, I noticed that a, a lot of people were doing them. Some were more believable than others. Um, I actually do believe that most of them were fake. Some were real though, I could tell because when I've done mine, it, it's pretty similar. Regardless, let's dive into that. So first thing I did was, I noticed a trend, and I spent a lot of time looking for these dark web mystery boxes. There was barely anything, but I found one website. It was 200 or so dollars for this one box, and that's what I did here. Basically in this video, it's when I got my first box. In this box, it wasn't anything crazy. It was just like, in my opinion, this box was more made to scare me than anything. Inside I had a CD that said play me smiley face, it had a pill, just like any other mystery box, a Wii U, which is pretty cool, um, I don't have the cables for that, it still sits somewhere over there, but yeah, Bluetooth headset, no, nothing crazy. Initially, was it worth the $200? No, but it, it was a fun video, fun experience, I got some decent feedback from it, a lot of people enjoyed it. So, right there I was just saying that... We're gonna go watch the video, the CD. So next was the response video to the CD video. And there was the CD reaction video. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this scared the shit out of me. Reasoning is, is because I knew that this was from the dark web. And it could have been anything. I was home alone at the time. Po a lot of pop-ups happened. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, you're scared. Is that? Yeah, I am scared, okay, get over it. But it is what it is. I look back at it now, it's not as scary because of what's been going on now, but yeah. Let's continue. So, this is when things start to take a turn. Hold on. So, could have sworn my door open, but whatever. I'm going to be home alone all day. So. so, this is when things start to take the craziest turn. I got an email from 
the owner of a dark net website um, called Olympus. If you don't know who that is, it's one of the biggest darknet markets out there for what they do in terms of mystery boxes and goods and whatnot. So this is the email I got from the darknet market Olympus. Hi, I've watched hi I've watched your mystery box video. I am the owner of the darknet market Olympus. We are looking to drive traffic to our market and thus I thought to contact you in regards to promoting us in a related video. We are willing to pay you five hundred dollars per video. Also I would like to compensate you by views. So I will pay you an extra of $500 for 100,000 views and $1,000 if you get us 1 million views on that video. Please let me know your thoughts. So, me being the guy I was, I didn't really dive into this too much. didn't really dive into who they are that much. All I knew is this trend was hot and a lot of people wanted me to, wanted me to do these videos. At the time, keep in mind I'm a college student. I really can't afford all this. I do work a part-time job, but not enough to afford these boxes. This was an opportunity for me to grow my channel and for me to make a little bit extra money on it so I could further more content to you guys, which I really enjoy doing, so I did it. What happened was, it took me about a couple hours to reply to him, I was really thinking about it, and I did. So he sends me a link to a dot onion website, I had to copy and paste it into the link bar in Tor. I went on his website, I purchased the box that he wanted me to get, I put the code in, which was my name, and it zeroed it out. So the box shipped. So it said order confirmation and it said, give me an order number. But then what happened was the page shut down. It just closed the browser and a bunch of code started running across my screen. It was just going up and down, left and right. It was really weird. I was kind of creeped out. I was getting really getting chills. And what happened was my computer just restarted like as normal. And I didn't think anything of it. Turned back on and I just went on with my day. Regardless though, I did get paid. I definitely did. I got that almost instantly. And within three, four days, the box was at my doorstep. <sighs> um, before you guys yell at me, I know, I know. I gave him my address. I am sorry. Jeez, like, I know it was a stupid mistake. You guys could yell at me all you want, scream in the comment section. I understand. We all make mistakes, um, some bigger than others. So yeah, long story short, I woke up one day, went to go check the mail, I opened the door, and there it is, this big 20-pound box in front of my doorstep. Inside this box was a bunch of interesting things. Um, you can see that video up here. This is probably the most interesting one, in my opinion. Inside this box was a map of my address circle, and it said, see you soon, be careful who you give your address to. Uh, inside was also like a dagger, a bunch of pictures with faces crossed out, a rosary, not a necklace, I'm sorry. A DSLR camera, an SD card inside that camera, and also a flash drive that was in the box, of course. But this, I'm not gonna lie, this box actually made me lose a little bit of sleep. It was pretty creepy. And at that point in time, I, I wanted to believe that it was all like a hoax and um, that was all just for a scare. I really didn't wanna go crazy about it. Um, so, I think I hear footsteps. I'm not kidding. Hold on. Hello? Ada? Are you home? So that this is when we dive into the flash drive and SD card um, reaction video. I got really close there. But this was really weird. This is when I first noticed that when I was putting these SD cards and flash drives into my computer, another mistake, I'm sorry, I have to get rid of this computer anyways, so that's why I, at that point I was just like, fuck it, I'll just keep doing it, insert, 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 and it, it's gone to shit, alright, I understand, so whatever, and it was really weird because in these folders, sometimes I would press the file and it would say this app does not support the contract specified or is not installed, and sometimes I would try to press it and it would just say, this app is already running, but on the bottom of my screen, clearly there's nothing running. I would run task manager and there's nothing running. Do it again, it says the same thing. I press it again and it works. So, clearly something was going on in the background of my PC. 
Fuck. That's that. So basically it just seemed like my computer had like a mind of its own. It I felt like I was being played with in a way. I honestly just felt like I was not that I was being followed or tracked or anything. I just felt in the back of my mind I I always had like this weird feeling. It was like a gut feeling in a way that something just wasn't right. And I was right. Always go with your gut feeling, guys. Basically, at this point in time, after I'd done that reaction video, I was like, okay, I'm done with these videos, you know? Um, I didn't receive an email from Olympus after that. I was like, I was like, surely enough I was done. You know, a day passed, two days passed, everything was fine. So, this is when things start getting crazy. So, I, th I felt as if life was great. You know, everything was going my way. Um, I was getting a lot of support. Um, essentially, I felt happy and scared. If that makes sense. But my computer started doing these really weird things. So I have, I have this camera that I'm recording with you guys from, and I also have this integrated webcam that's on my PC that is covered right now because of reasons. And basically, I was recording and editing a video for you guys um, of me venturing deeper into the dark web. I actually didn't post this video. I, maybe I will one day, but for now, no, I'm good. Long story short, the light right where the webcam was kept turning on and off. And I've never seen that before. I've never used this webcam in my entire life. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just running some tests, you know, whatever. Um, I was like, in, my, in the back of my head, I was like, okay, this computer's fried. Like, it's doing all these weird things on its own. You know, it's restarting, re you know, turning off, turning on by itself. Essentially, I just thought that this computer was done for. So I was like, whatever. I'm getting a Mac soon, and I'm getting rid of this thing. So about three or four days pass, and I wake up as normal. I do my homework. I go to get the mail, and I open the front door. There's a box. Now, this box was, like, heavy, but it was so empty in a way. So, like, I would shake it, and I would feel something, like, literally moving, something big. I was like, whoa, what if this is like an animal? Or what if this is like body parts, you know? Who knows? It's from the dark web. because, And I knew that because I saw the return address and it was from the same place as the other box. So in the back of my head, I was like, okay, is this really from Darknet Market Olympus again? I, in a way, when I received this box, I looked at it as an opportunity. I didn't have to pay for it. I didn't get paid for it. It just showed up at my door. So in a way, I was talking to my friends. I was like, what do you guys think? They're like, yeah, let's open it. I was like, you sure? They're like, yeah, fuck it. You know, do it. I'm like, all right. I was being, you know, ignorant and whatnot. This box was probably, this box freaked me out. This definitely scarred me for life. So I opened the box. Inside the box was a laptop with no cords or anything. So it was just... Probably a dead laptop. I didn't even bother turning it on or getting a charger for it. There was a candle. A webcam. A One Direction book. And a birthday card. Because it was my birthday. <clears throat> which was also really weird. But basically... Oh yeah, and there was also an SD card that says I see you. So essentially I was like, ah, oh, haha, he sees me. So... You know, just like every every other video on YouTube that does a dark web mystery box, they would get some type of stuff like that. So yeah, I went home, put the SD card in. Of course, it's giving these problems. Oh, it's already running. Oh, it's doing this. It's doing that. What the fuck? So eventually it starts playing. It's a video of me from my webcam, from my integrated webcam that's in my laptop. It was recording me. Someone was watching me. They recorded it and they sent it to me, basically mocking me, saying that they, oh, they see me. They have this power over me. Haha, ha, joke's on you, it's covered now. They, you can't see me anymore, or at least that's what I think. I have like 3M adhesive tapes like this thick covering it, but whatever. At this point, I said enough is enough. You know, I, I felt creeped out. Um, I didn't like to be alone. I would be up all night just sitting there, and I'd just be thinking, how long was this guy watching me through my webcam? Like, what did he see? You know, I do a lot in my room. Take that how you want it. 
but so at, at this point of time I wake up and I go on my donation page that I had on my that linked on my YouTube and I took it off since then because I can't do this thing anymore but long story short I received a payment for $500 and I was like what who would donate $500 to me and why at first I was like is it is it Olympus is it Olympus please don't be Olympus and I went on my Instagram and I had a message and it was from a subscriber he said he donated me $500 and he loves my videos he loves my videos his friends love my videos and they just love watching it and he said he would really enjoy for me to do it again and I, at first I was like what you know who would donate $500 just for me to do another video but at that point in time I felt like I was obligated in a way I I felt honored that someone really enjoyed watching my videos this much so I did it. Okay, I did it. Went on the same link, did it again, but this time I didn't have my, um... Went on the same link, did it again. I tried using my uh, discount code, my name. It didn't work. So I just did it for the 500 and went on with my day. So... Here's, here's where the stalking gets involved. I actually feel really uncomfortable talking about this. Um, so if I, like, stutter a little bit and, you know hesitate it's because I'm actually like I, it's really uncomfortable for me to talk about it <sighs> so I work at Best Buy you know it's my part-time job I work there 30 something hours a week and I go to school and whatnot <sighs> so I wake up I have my 12 to 9 shift that day and the way my house is set up is that my house is right here and I have like a long driveway coming this way and I'm backing out of my driveway and I notice that there's a car parked on the side of my street it was a blacked out, like, Ford Explorer, right? And I didn't think anything of it. A lot of people park there. It's like a, just people like to do it, I guess. And it was weird because while I was backing out, it, it's like as soon as he saw that I was backing out, he sped off. And I was like, okay. And I didn't think anything of it. I went to work. And the way my job is set up from about 8.30 to 9 o'clock, it gets really dead. We have like one or two customers and that's about it. So we just chill half the time, watch TV, you know, stuff like that. So it's usually just our cars and the customers, but if there is any customers. You guys heard that? My camera died. Sorry guys. So, whatever. I saw the car and all that. I was a little freaked out because I was like, what is the coincidence? But then again, my city is kind of small, so I was like, maybe he's just at Applebee's? I don't know. Whatever. I went home, went to sleep. And <sighs> this this is when I, at this point in time, this is when I knew I was getting stalked. So this day was mine and my girlfriend's day off, and we decided to spend it together. I went to her house at around 5, and we just hung out and whatever, and I decided to spend the night. In a way, I wanted to spend the night as like reassurance that I was safe. I felt safe there. Kind, I just kind of wanted to get my mind off things. So yeah, I went to sleep and nothing really weird happened. I woke up, did my morning routine and decided to leave. So I'm leaving, I get in my car and whatever, I'm just texting, I'm putting on a song, putting my aux cord and whatnot. And I get up, I put in reverse. My foot's still on the brake, and I look up in the rearview mirror, and I see a black Ford Explorer. So I kind of freeze up. My hands, like, freeze up, and I, I instantly get goosebumps, and, like, my jaw just dropped. At this point in time, though, it's like, this is all happening within, like, a couple seconds. So, I'm, I'm like, freaking out, whatever, and as it's it's like as soon as I notice them, they started to drive off, and they... Started driving off really slow and then just peeled off, like flew down the street. So, at this point in time, I was freaking out. I went home and I went inside and I didn't text my girlfriend for like a half hour just because I was thinking to myself, do I bring her involved? Do I tell her what just happened? Do I tell her that he knows where you live? Do I tell her that this happened or that this happened?
there's footsteps going on downstairs. I think my brother's home, but he doesn't come home until 2.30. It's 1.30 right now. But, whatever. <clears throat> so this is the last time that I saw the Ford Explorer for a while. And, essentially, I thought it was done. <sighs> Two days pass. Normal life. I actually started to not get as scared. Everything was returning back to normal. Of course, I opened my front door, and there's a box. It's 25-ish pounds, huge box, and it was full to the brim. Now, of course, I hit my friends up. Hey, guys, what do you think we should do? Do I just throw it out? I don't know how to dispose of a box of 25 pounds, and God knows what's in there. They were like, oh, bro, just just do it. Just get rid of it. You know, let's let's. if you're going to get rid of it, let's at least record it. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. I was like... So if we're going to do it, let's go do it at the park. Um, I was like, just in case we have to go, like, leave immediately or if we need immediate help, it will be a lot more easier to find, you know, stuff like that. My friend's like, no, 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 let's do it in my garage. You know, like, I'll have the house to myself that night. Let's just do it. So we did it at his garage. Now, that box is probably the most disgusting, disturbing thing that I've ever done in my entire life. The things that I touched, the things that I smelled that night were filthy. If you want to watch that video, right there. Go ahead. So yeah, little... So I'm just going to recap that video really quick. Inside that box was a bunch of squares on the box. It was like fill me in, basically. And six letters. Essentially, those letters spelled out my mom's name. And of course, there was a weird things. There was a gun broken in separate pieces, a bullet... A tool, it was like a fucking, I don't know, fucking awesome eye thing. And you press the thing and it says, kill yourself before they kill you. Essentially, I'm assuming with the gun and the bullet. And there was also a USB in the box. I put the USB in my box and this is, this, this made me lose sleep. And essentially, this is probably one of the worst nights of my life. The contents in that USB were just weird. It was a bunch of satanic rituals and... A lot of people sent me information on it. Um, I'm gonna link all the information down in the description below. Basically, it's just like satanic cultists and so on and so forth. It was like 2 a.m. and I get a phone call from my friend, the one that we did at his house. He's like, "Bro, he's like, are you are you like messing with me? Are you like trying to record like a funny YouTube video? I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, the way his house is set up is like his house is right here, so his door is right here." And his window's right next to the door, so his bedroom's like literally right there. And he had his open because it's a really hot night, and he heard like footsteps outside. And he has a motion detect like light outside, and it kept turning on. And it's not like it turned it turns on for like a minute or two and then turns off. It's not like it kept it stayed on for like he said 15 minutes. It came to a point where he was so scared he shut the window and he went outside. He opens the door and there was no one there. So he freaked out, he freaked out, and he said he was up all night. Yeah, that same night I <clears throat> was recording the reaction video, and I just had a lot on my mind that was just really hitting me, and I decided to go on a late night drive. So at that point, it was like 3.30 in the morning, and I was like, all right, let's just go. So I'm driving for about 20 minutes or so. You know, it's dark. I'm relaxing. I'm listening to some good music, <sighs> and I pull up to like a four-way stop. So I'm coming this way and there's a car like right here at the stop. So he was literally at the stop and I can't really see far away. My eyesight is garbage and I'm pulling up, you know, casually just listening to music and I pull up to the stop sign and I, I see the car. It was a really dark car and I flash my high beams and in the moments of me flashing my high beams at him, I noticed that the car was the black Ford Explorer. The same one. No front license plate, nothing. So, I freak out. Uh, I kept flashing my high beams. I'm like, f signaling him to go. But he wasn't moving. So, and I was like, okay, what do I do? So now we're idle. It was like a standstill for a while. It felt like forever. We were just standing there, car to car, looking at each other. I, I see someone in the car, but I can't make out who it is, or what it is, or whatever. I, I said enough's enough. I turned left and I sped off and I'm flying, flying and I see it that's a yellow light, turns to a red light. I stop and I'm like, okay, I look at my mirror, nothing's happening. 
and this this red light felt like forever. In the time that this I was waiting there, he pulls up behind me. He pulled up so close behind me, uh, he was probably like an inch or two away from my bumper. So I'm freaking out. I'm I'm literally trembling. Like I'm holding the wheel like this and I'm shaking. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should call the cops. Uh, and at that point in time, I'm like, what would the cops do? Did that would just give me more trouble? So. The light turns green, I fly down, I fly, I have no remorse for if there's cops or anything, I was just worried about myself. I'm flying through these side streets, it's four in the morning, I'm just cutting through everything, cut, and I'm, I'm actually surprised, I'm, I'm not the best driver in the world, I, I did well that night. But long story short, this chase went on for about 10 minutes, he's on my ass, we're following each other like this, this, and it, it basically if I just, I, if I just, tap the brakes he would have probably smacked into me and probably killed both of us but so we're driving driving and we pass through this one light in my city and i noticed that he's slowing down he slows down and he just stops and i'm still going and i'm looking in my mirror and he just turns left so i'm like okay this is my chance i dip i, I fly what, what feels like i'm going like 100 miles per hour down these streets and I pull in my driveway. I pull my driveway, put it in park, turn the car off, shut the lights off. I'm, I'm laying in my car like this. I'm just sitting back. I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck do I do? <clears throat> I, I, I literally like broke down. Like I, I couldn't do it anymore. Like my heart couldn't take it. My heart was at like 3,000 beats per fucking minute. I notice. I look up. I, I, I sat in there for probably five minutes, just literally laying there. And... It's, keep in mind, it's like 4.30 in the morning at that point in time, and it's dead quiet. All I hear is my heart beating. I look up in the rearview mirror, and I see a car pull up in the beginning of my driveway. And it's like sideways, so I can't back out to leave. So it's sideways, and I'm like, I'm sitting there, and I'm staring, staring. And at this point in time, I got an adrenaline rush. I literally said, like, enough's enough. At this point in time, I, I had like this crazy adrenaline rush. I opened my door and I started sprinting towards the Ford Explorer. I was like, what the fuck do you want? Who the fuck are you? And I, I got really close to the van. Like I was probably like two, three feet away. And he starts driving off. As he was driving off, I noticed his rear license plate that stated Olympus. Yep. Yeah. It was five days ago. Five days ago, I haven't seen the van since. I nothing weirds happened, but I'm always gonna keep an eye out. I'm always gonna take care of my friends and my family, my girlfriend, everyone. I'm not gonna let anything happen to them, of course. But I don't feel comfortable going to the cops. Reasoning is, is because at the end of the day, I believe that this is all some type of sick joke. Realistically, if this guy wanted to do anything to me, he would have done it. And if he wanted to hurt me so far, he would have. And... Dude, there's someone in my house. I'm literally... I'm dead serious. There's someone in my house. Ado! Mom! Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, he, I clearly hear shit. Um... I'm in like the utmost part of my house, so like downstairs is where usually everyone is, but like for some reason I just keep, I feel like I keep hearing like footsteps and stuff, I don't know. First off, bringing the cops into this is such a stupid, stupid scenario. Reasoning is, is cause what am I going to say to the cops? Oh officer, I'm being stalked cause I went onto the dark web. I purchased goods off the dark web and now I'm being stalked. Like. You see what I mean? It, it's it's not going to benefit me in any way. In in a way, it's going to do more harm to me than anything. But, so I have a friend who uh, finished college in computer forensics, and that's what he's doing for a living. And he had, he's really smart in what he does. He's actually going to help me out. He's going to extract all the files from these SD cards and these flash drives. He's going to see if he could ping a location or ping something, and see if they all link up together in a way, see if they connect. So, he's going to do that for me, and we're going to figure all that out. Um, other than that, though, if you guys want to stay updated with the situation, because I understand that I, I do upload about two times a week, 
but essentially I can't update everyone daily. I have a very busy life. I do go to college and I do have a job. So if you want to stay updated with me and what's been going on in my life, follow me on Instagram and Twitter right here. And yeah, um, thank you guys for all the support. Please like, subscribe.